Don't mind me. I'm just getting my daily dose of vitamin D. Don't you ever wonder why you feel great after you get a little bit of sun exposure? It's like a double-edged sword. If you get too much, it can cause skin cancer. But if you don't get enough, you just don't feel very good. Believe it or not, many people are actually struggling with a vitamin D deficiency. According to many studies done, one of the top deficiencies we have in America is quite possibly vitamin D. There can be a lot of reasons for this, but first, let's talk about the symptoms. Are you tired? Do you have muscle weakness? Are you always getting sick? Do you struggle with emotional ups and downs like depression and anxiety? Do you have trouble putting on muscle or losing weight? Or do you have weak bones or weak teeth? Actually, vitamin D is crucial for absorbing calcium. Without it, we wouldn't absorb enough from our gut and then our bones and our teeth suffer. There are a lot of other symptoms, but these are all major warning signs that you could be struggling with a vitamin D deficiency. But really, the only true way to know is to go to your doctor and get a blood work panel done and see what your vitamin D levels are. Vitamin D is responsible for giving us optimal digestive health, immune response, bone health, and hormone balance. It's not just a vitamin, it's a pro-hormone. So what are the causes of a vitamin D deficiency? There can be several, but number one is not getting enough sunlight. So many of us live out our lives inside these days, especially in the Northern Hemisphere. The farther away you live from the equator, the less exposure to UVB rays you get. And this is the form of sunshine you need in order to convert to the active form of vitamin D in your body. Not getting enough direct sunlight on your skin plays a huge part. Wearing clothes that cover the skin, working a nine to five job inside, and even on your commute to work. You'd think that sitting in a car in an hour traffic on your way to work in LA, you'd get some sun exposure. Unfortunately, most car windows are UV protective, so they're blocking any UVB rays. Certain chemicals, especially in plastic, can block the absorption of vitamin D in the body. If you drink from water bottles every day, they very well may have a chemical called BPA in them. When you drink out of the plastic bottles, the BPA leaches from the plastic and blocks absorption of vitamin D in your body. Also, if you're exposed to toxins on a regular basis, such as smog, carbon emissions in the smog absorb the UVB rays, and therefore there's less UVB rays available for your skin to absorb. Without those UVB rays, your body really struggles converting vitamin D to its active form. Studies show that as we get older, there's less of the precursor present in the skin, so therefore there's less that can be converted to the active form of vitamin D. Therefore, we have to take in more to feel happier and healthier. Unfortunately, we're all getting older and it's something we can't ignore. So this is definitely something important that you should pay attention to. So if you wanna start correcting a vitamin D deficiency and see improvements in your health, the number one way is to start getting more sunshine. There are so many problems we face in life and so many of them have complicated answers. This isn't a very complicated answer. You just need to go outside and get more sunshine. It's recommended to try to get 20 minutes of sunshine a day. Some studies show that just five to 30 minutes of sun exposure on uncovered skin can help increase your vitamin D levels. This doesn't mean you shouldn't wear sunscreen. You definitely should. And while sunscreen does block UVB rays, it's unlikely you'll put it on everywhere. So you'll still get some exposure. And because we don't put it on very consistently, it wears off and we do get some sunlight throughout the day. You can also get vitamin D through foods. Unfortunately, very few foods have a naturally high significant level of vitamin D. Many foods in the US are fortified with vitamin D and the fortification is one of the only reasons some Americans even get any vitamin D. But if you want to try to increase your consumption of these foods, your best bet is through wild caught fish, such as salmon, mackerel, or tuna. You can also get some in some dairy products such as milk, cheese, and yogurt, and egg yolks and mushrooms. The last way is to take a high quality vitamin D supplement. You don't necessarily want vitamin D2, but you do definitely want vitamin D3. There's lots of forms of it on the market and quite a few good quality brands. For most adults, 400 to 800 IUs is recommended daily. However, if you've already gone to the doctor and confirmed a deficiency, you very well likely may be taking 1,000 to 4,000 IU daily. Another important thing to remember is if you are supplementing with vitamin D, that you should definitely take it with a form of fat because vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin. This way, when you take the fat with it, it's better absorbed by your body. 
So I would recommend taking it with something like avocado oil, peanut butter, almond butter, something that tastes good and is fatty. Ultimately, if you're really not sure what your vitamin D levels are and you wanna know if you actually have a vitamin D deficiency, the only real way to know is to go visit your doctor. They'll run a vitamin D panel, and this way you and your physician can work on a plan of action to get your vitamin D levels back up. This way you'll feel better, happier, and healthier. Remember, vitamin D is not just a vitamin, it's a pro-hormone. It's a crucial nutrient essential to our health, and you shouldn't ignore it, especially as we're getting older. Hopefully this video was helpful and you learned something new, and that it inspired in you some motivation to take a closer look at your health and how you're feeling. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss my weekly tips on living a healthier life and my fun adventures. Living a healthy life doesn't have to be boring. I'm gonna go take a chili dip now. Maybe my next video will be on the health benefits of cold water plunges. <laughs> Catch you later. <laughs>